guys welcome back to another video so it's early morning here it's starting to rain we're out on my home lake and uh, we're gonna be going after some lake trout and maybe some salmon today uh, we're up here for the weekend so I'm gonna put in a little bit of time doing some trolling but I came out last night to try to get a feel of how everything was kind of fishing around here and try to get onto a pattern so we could maybe hook into some fish today um, it worked out pretty well this is like mid-June right now and we caught uh, three lake trout last night. One of them is pretty decent size and uh, lost another one. So I'll show you the clips of those. Sick. All right, drive. <laughs> Alright, we'll get him right back. Is that something? Yeah, that's a fish. We have a fish, we have a fish. Stay on, stay on. Is it? I don't know, it was small, if it was. Oh, something. Yeah. I think this one had a fish on it. I think I got a fish on here. Yeah, I do. It popped off. <laughs> While I was setting that one, I got a fish on here. What do you want to do? On the fly rod. <laughs> Number two. Sick. <laughs> a little bit bigger than the last one we just got. Not much. A little bit bigger belly on him, but I get him back. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> we got that one on the old Northeast Troller Cap Special 100 size. So, first fish I caught on that lure. On the floor. On the floor. Um, fish. Fish. Another one on the fly rod. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, baby. This one's a little bit better. Ooh. Oh. Jeez, um. He just took a whole bunch of line. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what the heck's going on. I had him close and then he tore right off. Okay, no, hold on. It's okay. No, I, I don't care. Let me land this thing. I got it. All right. Push the red button and push forward. All right, we just got this, we just got this chunkier guy here. Nice, probably, I don't know, 20, 23 inch fish. I'm gonna send him back because he, he really got kind of wrapped up. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the patterns are gonna kind of stay the same. I'm gonna start out with the same lures that I ended with last night because they were producing, and then we'll kind of switch it up. But uh, I got Northeast Troller products right now. Uh, this is the Monkey Puke color. Did pretty well on that last night. And I'm gonna run that on lead core. Um, probably gonna go like 30 feet down or so. And we'll kind of vary, vary the uh, depth and, and speed with that. So on my other rod, I got a downrigger uh, mooching rod here. It's just basically like a big fly rod. I get a lot of questions kind of about this setup, but this is a uh, this is a mooching setup. So it's basically a big fly reel. This is a very very expensive reel. It's a Munson reel. 
if I can show you that. But uh, I bought it for myself for my 30th birthday a couple of years ago, so uh, I splurged, had to get it. We're going to be running the Cap Special by Northeast Troller. That's a new spoon by them. This is the size 100. I'll link Northeast Troller down in the description below. We use a lot of their products almost exclusively. Um, and Christian does a really good job of offering you guys a bunch of different sizes and colors that uh, really produces fish. So, you know, it's overcast right now, it's raining, so I always like to use a little bit darker, like the copper, gold colors. The other thing with this lake, they seem to really like that red devil sort of pattern, and I've talked about that before in a previous video out here, um, that red and white pattern. And uh, this, this has that on there, the red and white, so, um, and I believe that's why we caught some fish on it last night. It's just, uh, you know, those colors go well together on this lake. For some reason, they, they hammer it, so. I might have shown this last time, but when I was younger, I didn't have that lure. That's a Northeast Troller Spoon. I was using a lot of moose look wobblers, like this. And you can see I painted that pattern on there because it works so good out here, so. Oh, yeah. Any luck this morning? I got one salmon. Nice. Yeah. Couple last night, but nothing this morning. The other thing I wasn't gonna say it, but uh, kind of funny. That guy had three lines out. You're only supposed to have two. He had a lead core downrigger, and then he had one straight out the back, like probably right in the prop wash, probably like 30 feet back. But yeah. I guess you could have had someone sleeping on the floor of his boat that I didn't see, but it looked like it was just him. <laughs> so that one salmon he got, not counting it. Not counting it. He's illegally fishing. Well, the sun's starting to poke out a little bit. I've been out here for a few hours with, with nothing at all, no action. I've changed lures a few times, tried different depths and stuff. I haven't really marked anything either, which is kind of weird, but I got one more spot right up here where there's a bunch of boulders and stuff that I'm going to troll some lead core line through. And then uh, we'll probably pack it up and maybe go down to the river and see if we can catch a few fish. We'll probably come back out here later tonight and uh, see if we can catch some fish kind of down where we were last night. But uh, we'll get on some fish. All right guys, we're back out on the boat. We didn't end up going fishing on the river or anything because the water is kind of too warm and for trout fishing on that. So we're out, uh, back out here on the boat. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're back out here on the boat and uh, hopefully gonna get some fish on the night bite again. We've got Miss T with us here so we can get in a couple extra lines in the water, hopefully get her hooked on, on a fish or two. And uh, yeah, we'll talk you through what we're doing. So similar setup to last night, we're gonna run the monkey puke pattern on a lead core rod. I'm gonna put this really bright colored UV, almost like smelt pattern on this other lead core rod. And we'll probably change that up here when the sun starts going down, but while it's still bright out, we'll run this one. On one of the downrigger rods, we're gonna run the old red devil spoon that's caught us a bunch of fish out here. And on the other downrigger rod, going back to the old cap special because we caught some fish on that last night. So hopefully, be lucky enough to get one on it tonight. I'm thinking once the sun goes down behind these uh, trees here, we're gonna start getting some fish. I really, really think it. Yeah, dead. What do you think? That you're highly embarrassing. True. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Try to 
keep him in the middle, eh? Hold up here. There you go. Got him. Keep your rod tip up in the air. Come on. Just keep reeling it. Yeah, he's on. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that sky. Might be a salmon. The way it, ju it jumped out there. Oh, there's another fish. There's another fish. Where? This one. Oh, double. All right, sweet. We're going to have to go out to deeper water here. <laughs> double. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Told you, as soon as that sun starts going down. <laughs> Look, move. Oh, this one just came off. Okay, it's a salmon. Here we go. I can't. There. Just make sure I got. He's okay, he's back. He off. came off. Sweet. Nice, nice, little, fish. nice little salmon. Like a little 19 inch salmon. Nice. Okay, just toss them in the water, yeah. So that was pretty cool. We got that one on the uh, rainbow colored spoon there, that salmon. So that's awesome. How was that? It was so slimy. Got it, yeah. Let's not lose this one. You got the boat? Okay. This thing's gotta be wrapped. This thing's gotta be wrapped. It's not it's not moving. Uh oh, this rod's going off. I think so. This just must be a decent fish or something. Oh! <sighs> Did you feel something on your rod? Yeah. It was hooked on that line. Mother! No, my lure broke off. Rod tip up. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you how to do it. Oh, it came off! No. Damn it, dude, that sucks. What was that? Could you tell? It was a lake trout. It was small. It was probably, I don't know, 16 inches or so. All right, guys, it's almost dark out here. But we're gonna make one more pass up, up the shoreline here. We missed the double. It's kind of frigging around with the net and everything else, so I got tangled in my other line. But we did manage that little salmon. That was pretty good salmon. And uh, little. Yeah. It was a really big salmon. Good job. It wasn't little. <laughs> it was medium. Yeah. Might have a fish on here. Yep, I got a fish. Like it's been on there? No, I think it just hit it when I popped it off. Yep, little salmon. <laughs> Fishing in the dark. Oh yes, on the old red devil color. Hmm, here's a little salmon. We'll get it right back. Alright guys, so we just made it back into camp. That last fish we got was right at dark. You could barely see anything, so I you guys probably didn't get a very good shot of that, but Anyways, that ends the video here today. We're just up at camp, doing a little bit of trolling, having a little bit of fun for the weekend. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And uh, check out some of our other videos. Hit the thumbs up, comment. We'll catch you guys in the next one.